morning everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Shannon, also known as Shannon Nonsons on here. I'm sure you know I usually do post on Tuesday evenings, but that would be Christmas night and I want you to enjoy time with friends and family. So, good morning, it's Sunday. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing another what I eat in a day video, but it is winter themed because it is officially winter, the worst time of the year. But it's more kind of cozy, warm meals. So before I get into what I eat in a day, make sure you do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you get notifications for when I do post. And also give this video a big thumbs up if you like these types of videos. Let's get into it. We have been loving Maddie Lindburner's baked oatmeal recipe that recently came out that I will link down below. I'm gonna show you how we do it because we do make a few modifications and double it since it can last the whole week. So first in a nine by 11 baking pan, you're gonna add six cups of rolled oats along with the other dried ingredients, which are two teaspoons of cinnamon and a half of a cup of chopped walnuts. After all the dry ingredients are mixed, you're gonna add in your six cups of almond milk. Instead of using sugar or any other kind of sweetener like that, we mix eight dates with six tablespoons of hot water to make a natural sweetener. Now we are mixing in fruit of your choice. We use a pack of frozen blueberries and frozen strawberries. Once topped in, you do just mix it together. And now just mix the fruit thoroughly through the oatmeal mixture. Now you just pop this in the oven at 375 degrees for 45 minutes to an hour. This was discovered by us literally throwing a bunch of stuff together that was extra from our week. So we've got our greens of our choice, and then I usually have some black beans and corn. And we got some roasted chickpeas that I put on the skillet for just about 10 minutes on medium heat. Then you should just add whatever you'd like from a salad, such as some carrots and some tomatoes. I do about a half tablespoon of hemp seeds, and then I top it with some nutritional yeast. And finally, top it with salad dressing of your choice. I do a miso ginger carrot dressing. You can really do whatever you want. Growing up, I hated tomato soup, and I know grilled cheese and tomato soup is usually the ultimate classic, but I grew up eating grilled cheese and chicken noodle soup. So today, I'm gonna show you how to make a chickpea noodle soup with a vegan grilled cheese. Over medium heat, put a tablespoon of vegan butter, I use Earth Balance, along with two cloves of minced garlic and one yellow onion Top. Cook the garlic, onion, and butter until soft and fragrant. Now add the rest of your ingredients in no particular order. I have about a cup of chopped carrots, which happen to be three carrots. Two stalks of celery. Then you add in a can of rinsed and drained chickpeas. Now we're gonna start adding our liquid ingredients. You need to get up four cups of vegetable broth, which happens to be one whole container usually. You're gonna also add in two cups of water. Now to give this a real chicken flavor, I found these at Whole Foods, but there are a ton of 
vegan boyan cubes that have a chicken flavoring, which honestly chicken flavoring is just spices. So you're gonna want one of those in there. Now you can add whatever noodle you like. I chose to do brown rice noodles, and I remember to take a noodle soup I always loved in a can, was spiralized, so I bought that kind. I just add one bay leaf to cook with to give it some flavor, about a tablespoon of Italian seasoning, a tablespoon of fresh parsley, and finally, about a teaspoon of salt and pepper each, and I do put some on at the end as well. And then just mix this all together and wait for it to become a boil. Once boiling, you're just going to put a lid on top and then reduce to simmer. Optional, but towards the end, I also add in a cup of kale for some extra greens. And now we're ready. Now you do remove the bay leaf but it's ready to serve. Now we're gonna make grilled cheese. You honestly make vegan grilled cheese the same way you would make any normal grilled cheese, but of course, use vegan options. Any vegan butter will do, but I've always loved Earth Balance. Tastes the same, it's never proven me wrong. I'm gonna be completely honest, some vegan cheese is absolutely disgusting, but follow your heart American style cheese Literally, it melts perfectly, tastes exactly like a real American cheese, and you will not know a difference. Now the trick to vegan grilled cheese is that it needs to be cooked on low heat, about five minutes on each side. And it needs to be covered. After five minutes on one side, you uncover and then you flip. After five more minutes, the grilled cheese are ready. Now one of your classic childhood dinners is served. Feel free to add some pepper and salt. Alright guys, I hope you really enjoyed this What I Eat In A Day video. Again, if you love these types of videos, give this a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and also, you know, give it a comment, share it somewhere. It helps me a lot. So, I hope you have a very happy holidays, and I will actually see you in 2019. Bye guys.